Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Mickey Indigo here with another one. You already know I'm looking rugged as hell because I've been up all day and all night trying to get y'all the news, the truth. And uh, yo, just know that I'm being suppressed. I'm definitely being suppressed. And only you can help me out um, if you can smash a like or give me a subscribe or even give me a comment as well. You're a superstar. I got to give a shout out to a couple people. Um, AJ, uh, you already know. Alina, uh, I'll, I'll call you. You already know. KRIS, uh, yay, bro. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, thanks for confirming to keep uh, posting on Reddit, even though it's taken over by either shills or emotional people that are uh, scared of other people's attempt to bring the truth to other people. Um, Steve Kerr, bro, thank you so much, brother, for uh, giving me a comment. And Dan, Dan, you are the man. And I have to say, Alina, um, like I said, thank you for reaching out. I do have to say, though, your comments always get deleted off my page. I don't, I don't know why. Like, it's just so crazy. Like, one, two, three, four, five. So I got five comments that are showing on my page, shocking Michael Burry subpoena, right? And then, but it shows that there's actually eight there. And this is what I'm talking about. This is a deceit that I'm talking about, bro. They are suppressing me. You could literally go yourself and count the comments yourself. They're, they're not adding up. So, bro, do what you guys can. I appreciate any help you could do. I really don't ask for much in the long run. Um, with all that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the news. So, uh, a couple of developments, a couple of things that, uh, you know, that are worth, uh, definitely mentioning. One of the trending things, uh, that was pretty interesting is the hashtag Ken Griffin lied. Um, and I appreciate that hashtag and I appreciate the fact that it was at some point, um, sorry for that. Uh, I appreciate the fact that it was at some point trending, but now I'm on Twitter and, uh, it's no nowhere to be seen. A lot of people are actually calling that out. It's even funny because, uh, you know, <laughs> people are like, hold on, a moment ago, I literally just took a picture. It was number one. Um, and a lot of people are saying different things. And I do have to give a shout out to at dog underscore shill. He said bark, 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 bark. But that's not all he said. In case you were wondering why Jack, as in Jack Dorsey, the owner of Twitter, and Twitter are suppressing the hashtag Ken Griffin lied trend, Citadel owns almost 5 million shares of Twitter. What? You don't say. Look, bro, this is why I, like, stop posting on Twitter. It's like, I, I gotta get better, bro. I gotta get better at posting on Instagram. I gotta get better at posting on Twitter. Uh, I don't even care about Facebook, bro. I don't care about any of those three. I feel like they'd be suppressing the hell out of me. It, it really doesn't give me much motivation to keep posting on there when every time I get just straight up, like, annihilated and, and suppressed every single time, bro. Like, TikTok, dude, I, I reached almost about, what, 20,000 followers in, like, oh, what, a month or two? You know, I, I got uh, a post that, that hit almost 3 million. You know what I'm saying? But I can't, with this consistency, uh, reach anywhere near more than 90 people on Twitter. It's sus, bro. It smells sus. Um, and look, I'm not a financial advisor or legal advisor. And all this is just my opinion. I just want to tell you what I've experienced. Uh, someone on here on Reddit said that if you turn your VPN to a different country, that hashtag Ken Griffin lied is in fact still there. Actually, at number two as we're recording the videos. Um, go ahead, check for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Always do your own research. Always do your own due diligence. One of the big, big things uh, comes from the Senate, but we're about to jump into there in just a second. Uh, but before we do, let's talk about a couple things. So it looks like RC, uh, Ryan Cohen, our favorite dude in the GME sphere, in my opinion, my favorite dude at least. I don't know about y'all. I mean, DFV is still up there as well, obviously. But... RC tweeted, he said, talk is cheap. It takes money to buy whiskey. And then people are like, oh, whoa, what does that mean? What does that mean? I, bro, I couldn't even tell you. I, I literally couldn't even tell you. Talking's cheap. And on Reddit, you know, we could all say that we're diamond handing. But when it comes to the point where you're seeing like millions in your bank account, are you going to keep diamond handing? You know, talk is cheap, but you should diamond hand if you want to buy that whiskey. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I did a quick Google. I did a quick, a quick Google. 
And I found this website, it's called underhoodservice.com. Um, it says Mitch Schneider, um, which it says, talk is cheap, it takes money to buy whiskey. And this is an opinion piece. And I'll read it to you real quick. It says, having a vested interest in a project, an idea, a concept, and or your own future in the way of sweet equity, which is time, energy, effort, physical, or emotional investment, and or cash, uh, brings with it an entirely different level of involvement because of the sacrifice implied. It takes money to buy whiskey. But what does all that mean? It means that unless someone has a vested interest in your future or mine, we almost have a responsibility to take whatever that person has to say with a grain of salt. That definitely goes to what I was saying before. And one of the things I've always talked about, and yo, know, I'm probably going to get you know flack for it. And I don't give a fuck. I got to tell y'all the truth. No one knows where the, the, the price is going to squeeze to. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you I know where that price is going to squeeze to. I know it's going to squeeze high. And I know if you're in, you're going to make mad money. But I don't know where it's going to squeeze to. I don't think anyone really could tell you right now. Because you don't like... Uh, no one knows, bro. No one knows. And, yo, these shields are mad sophisticated, bro. Just, like, keep your eyes open. Keep aware. Know that no one can give you the answers on where is the top, bro. You're going to have to follow your heart, follow your intuition. Um, but know this. You know, when everyone's like, oh, the floor is jail time. The floor is 40 million. The floor is 70 million. The floor is 420 million. Bro, remember, there's shields out there. And they might be telling you know, this for months and months and months to brainwash us into thinking it's going to hit a certain number. We don't know what number that's going to be. We don't know what number that's going to be. So with that being said, got to follow your heart. Always diamond hand. That's always the plan that never changes. Uh, but it's, it's definitely interesting to say the least. So one other thing I want to talk about, this comes from Unusual Whales. He says, update a story in the leaked Hood documents, one of the executive states that Citadel is in a total mess regarding the GME short squeeze. Um, and then he posts a little screenshot of that. Um, and this is from uh, what uh, Jim underscore Swarwell, uh, whatever his name is, bro. He says, everyone is, you wouldn't believe the convo we had with Citadel, total mess. Interesting. That definitely makes me a little bit more confident in the choice I made. But let's talk about the biggest meat and potatoes that's really going on and affecting our everyday life. Senate Democrats fail to advance measures to suspend debt ceiling and extend government funding amid Republican opposition. I realize that the real vote is on Thursday. So we don't know where that's going to go. But so far, it's looking kind of grim. If the debt ceiling isn't, you know, increased, we're looking at recession, bro. We're looking at a huge recession um, from which we will not be able to recover from. We will not, at least not in the near future. I don't think, I don't think we'll ever be able to fully recover. And I, I've, I've been saying this for the longest time, you know, 2020, things are never going to go back. Yo, like people could tell you till they're blue in the face. If I just comply, everything's just going to go away. We're, we're, we're going to get rid of this and we're going to go back to our normal life. Yo, look at what's going on, bro. Nothing's going back to the same thing it was. All right. Like focus, pay attention. Things are looking pretty grim. And I can tell you this, if we do end up going Thursday and the votes end up actually going that direction, uh, bro, like uh, it's just uh, pouring, you know, salt on the wound not even really not e it's, it's the opposite right because i mean if you're pouring salt on the wound you're kind of essentially healing it right nah this is like throwing fucking bacteria dirt onto your wound and then spitting on it with a bunch of mucus going into the cut bro this, this is what it this is what it is bro that sounds vulgar but bro there's some vulgar shit going on right now so you know listen complying isn't the answer you keep complying listen <laughs> they're gonna be like all right what else are they gonna keep complying for you know i mean i mean if they tell you to do something you keep bending over why wouldn't they keep going you know what i'm saying like complying isn't the answer and uh we shall see what happens man oh my goodness 
I swear, I, I, I mention this almost every day. This almost seems intentional. It seems like our, our own country is intentionally just, you know, falling apart. It's just absolutely bullshit, bro. It's absolutely bullshit. Like, like my, you know, uh, teenage cousin could probably come up with better strategies than what these old fucks are doing. But whatever, that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, I can use any and all support I could get. I do have a second channel. Go ahead, like, and subscribe the videos on there and i'll be sure to be adding more now that i'm a little less busy i'm still super busy but a little less busy so uh we'll talk i'm mickey indigo you already know that's a wrap